Daddy. <laughs> what happened? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, Mark just informed me he smells smoke on the combine. Ah, family drama. It's, you know, just feeling a lot better about myself. <laughs> Sounds like breakfast is being served. It's the best time of day. Where's my baby? Come here. Hi, honey. Hello. Oh, hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello. What are you doing today? I didn't see you at all yesterday, did I? No. No. You'll have to talk to my boss. Okay? He's very demanding. He's very demanding. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. What are you saying? You're eating my ear. Hello. You are the sweetest little thing I've ever had. Yes, you are. Hello, baby. Hello.
Don't stop. Well, guys, um, we are into the season of needing a hoodie first thing in the morning, and then by 10 a.m., it's time to take it off because it's warming up and it's supposed to be nice the next couple days and then it's supposed to turn kind of gross. You haven't missed a whole lot. I have spent most of the morning cleaning out another bin and now Jess, there was a little issue last night with the buggy and uh, she's cleaning up a couple piles. So I'm gonna go see how she's making out. It's, she's usually pretty good for a laugh. No? How many buckets have you got so far? Huh? My first one. That's your first one? I figured it wouldn't even like fill a bucket. No. Yeah, no, it's there's like a lot more than I thought. There's more in a pile of beans than what it looks like. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think the rest of it's too dirty, so. All right, I'll help you clean up the rest. Jess and I just finished cleaning up those beans and what we're basically waiting for is uh, Ethan, he's coming I think now mid-afternoon to start corn silage. Corn silage is the very last thing we need to do to make sure we have enough feed to get us through the winter and get us through the spring and into um, into next uh, early, you know, late spring, early summer when we start haylage again. Um, so same kind of same deal as haylage, only corn silage should go a lot faster. I'm hoping so because uh, he had some breakdowns yesterday and uh, so he's later getting here and we really don't want to run those wagons at night. So um, hoping all will go uh, without a hitch today. Uh, I'll try to bring the camera along just to take footage when I can, but it's going to be quick and fast. It's it's basically the same process as uh, first, second, third, and fourth cut hay. I guess third we bailed. Corn silage is a lot lighter and fluffier, so it does fill the bag a bit quicker just because of that air. Um, so the bag the bagger does pack it as good as it can, but it, it's not as dense as, as haylage. And the other thing, I don't know how even our quality is going to be. We had a huge frost last week, late last week. Our corn is, looks dead. Uh, it was green as grass last week, and now it looks like November corn. It is golden. Uh, the, the leaves, all the plant material is dead. Um, now Mark thinks that um, the stalk, the shank, kind of up to the ear is still alive. But what's going to happen is that plant, because it's got nothing, it's not drawing in from anywhere else, the plant's all dead, everything's, all the plant material's dead. He's just a little bit scared that uh, it's going to draw everything, every last little bit of resources out of those plants, and then it could could leave our corn very weak-legged. And uh, if we get any fall storms, uh, which we have seen, <laughs> this barn has seen a couple fall storms, uh, we just worry about corn falling over and I'm sure a lot of people in the states can can attest to what a heavy wind on corn can can lead to so that's pretty scary uh, but today we are concentrating on corn silage we are short help so I did uh, rig up Moni again Moni's gonna help I think Jess is gonna help Mark is gonna have to find someone to help him with soybeans and um, yeah so the reason why kind of the rush is on, the race is on, is because now they're calling for kind of a wet week next week. So we're trying to get as many soybeans as we can get off this week and get wheat planted right after. And uh, and that'd be real nice to get that weed in the ground before the rain. That's kind of the update on the crop side. It's after lunch and we are just about to enter our second soybean field and Jess is on the buggy, Mark is on the combine right now. We're on a side road and it's such a pretty road. We actually got family pictures taken last fall, like a year ago right now, down this road. And the leaves are just starting to turn and it's gorgeous right now, just beginning to be really pretty. There's some reds and oranges and yellows. But oh, look at this corn. This is what I wanted to show you guys. That was green, it was as green as the weeds last week. And it's dead. 
Just no green material at all. It is green. There's some green out of here. But yeah. And I just can't believe how green this was last week. And there's nothing green left. Just here. Mark's going to hate me for filming the one spot that's right in the corner where all the weeds are. This isn't what the rest of the field looks like, or we'd be broke. Prozo millet! Thanks for coming out to the party. Well, Mark just informed me he smells smoke on the combine, so that's going to be interesting. Nothing serious? Well, I don't, like, there's oh, nothing I can find. This smells funny. It smells like burning, but... up my dudes so today um we are doing some beans it is what time is it 1 36 and mom has graciously given me the camera for the afternoon we just started i just unloaded for the first time it's fun <laughs> right now i'm listening to an audiobook listening to some harry potter and looking at this awesome view, look at those trees. I don't know if you can really tell. Why is that? Can you see the ones that are pretty yellow? Not really. Oh, back there you can. The leaves are finally starting to change. I love it when the leaves change. So pretty. But it is really hot in here. It's like actually nice outside. It's the 20. I think it's like in the 20s or something. But it's hot, so I'm gonna turn my AC. But I'll keep you guys updated if anything crazy happens. So far, it's been pretty smooth. Knock on wood. I think we're also doing corn silage today. Yay. You're not really a buggy driver until you do it without a camera. Well, this is a huge buggy. I know, but he'll tell you. He'll tell you. He can see.
Good morning, you guys. It's Friday. I kind of just zoomed out quick last night. Um, I actually, every man watching this video is going to click off now. Um, I had to take care of some um, age problems, <laughs> aka roots. Last wagon, Mark got back from taking beans to town and he switched off for me because I had already pushed my poor hairdresser, who is amazing. I already pushed her off like three times yesterday. So my appointment was at eight. I left at eight. <laughs> so that is, that is the struggle. I have to take wagons back to Ethan because uh, he has to finish his corn silage today. So that poor guy has been doing corn silage all week for me and another guy and himself. So, uh, yeah, I really thank Ethan. Uh, yesterday we finished corn silage in about four hours, I think. Yeah, so corn silage is done. That means all the feed is in for the year, which is a huge uh, sense of relief for me. And now it's just soybeans, 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 because we are in for like a week of really nasty weather next week. Mark has been up till midnight or one o'clock every night this week, uh, keeping, keeping the drill going uh, and getting all the acres planted right behind, right behind harvest. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Hello, baby. Hello. Oh, you always get my camera, Yaki. Yo, yo. Are you saying hi? Are you saying hi? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ooh. Hello. 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 Mm -hmm. Yo, you just love it. Yo, cha. Hi. You see yourself in there, don't you? Hey, you see yourself? <laughs> Who's that? No, that's my camera. That's my camera. No. Did you bring your twin in now? This is the other one. And that's mom. What do you think, mom? Okay? <laughs> we're at our black bean field. We got a lot of frost and these were replanted. So Mark is just, he's He's just going to do an evaluation and he might even get our rep in just to see. We want to make sure there was no damage to the beans because they were almost mature but not quite. So you can see they're fully leafed, leaved still. We're just assessing if there's damage. They looked really good, Mark. They looked good. Like all the leaves were killed. You think they'll be okay? Yeah, I think so. I've never seen black beans. Big you didn't here, see them last year? No. They're so cool. Hey, they're black beans. I just like didn't really yeah. picture them to look like this. Show. Sure. Oh, sorry. These ones aren't ready though. They're he said they're good enough, but Yeah, I figured if you just took a look at them then we can make a game plan. Some of these I think are not far enough along to worry about, but... Oh uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. I, like, from what I'm walking into here, like... So for you guys, it's only been like a second since you last saw me, but it has been all day. It just is a rat race. Uh, trying to get logistics all figured out. This is this field is pretty far away from home, and we got to get wagons here. We have to get the buggy here. We had to get the combine here. We had to get the header cart and the header here. 
We had to get the wheat, the wagon full of wheat, and the conveyor, and the fertilizer here to plant wheat right after. So we have just been up and down this road. I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know how many times. Jess had a bit of a, it's not a scare, but she's feeling really bad, and it wasn't her fault, but there was a hydraulic leak on the, on the drill, and uh, she didn't catch it when she was coming out of the field. And when she was filling up with fuel, she noticed the gangs were down. So she just, she's not sure, did it did it run on the road like that or did it just kind of lose pressure as she was sitting there? We think we think she just kind of lost pressure at the last minute there, but it's taken me all day to convince her to eat because she thought dad would be mad at her and just, ah, family drama. We have to deliver right out of the field to, to the place we deal with. Um, Dietrich out of Lucan, they're a really nice family we deal with and we bought we bought a lot of seed from them. So we're growing we're growing the this uh, these IP soybeans for them. So we've been Mark's been up early, kind of taking loads. Uh, it's quite a, a quite a jaunt from us to get there. So I'm taking these two wagons uh, there right now, and uh, and then coming back. And our neighbor Jeff, who helps us a lot, he's brought his semi, so he is going to be taking a load for us too. Story time with Jess. How'd you make out this afternoon when I was um, gone for three hours with wagons? Uh, oh, okay. We're talking about the good part of my afternoon. It was great. Tell them about the bad parts. Um, I, I might have cleared them in, but you can tell. It was not fun. Pretty much, I was planting. I was doing so good, you know, really getting the hang of it, building my confidence, you know, just feeling a lot better about myself. And uh, then I get home from. You know, I folded up, I double checked everything as I always do, usually do, and I get home, I'm filling up with fuel, and I drive a little bit further, I'm like, what's that I hear? <laughs> oh wait, that's my freaking planter that is currently down and not up, therefore dragging on the road and the laneway. Everywhere. And then you, and then you're just scared of dad getting mad. Well, yeah. Did he get mad? Yeah. <laughs> Until he realized that it wasn't actually my fault. Um, he didn't really, he didn't get mad. No, he didn't get mad. He was just like, what's the word when like you're kind of upset Exas that something happened. Exasperated. But, like, Frustrated. You're not really mad at anyone. Frustrated. You're Frustrated. just kind of upset that something Frustrated. happened. That's what happened. How was tonight? <laughs> It was great. I had a nice sunset, took a nice golden hour selfie. Are we half done? Instagram. Are we over half done? I don't this know. This field? It's dark. It's getting a little too keen. You know in one of your videos how it was like, you started it in my house and then it was just me rambling to myself? I feel like that's like what's happening. Guys, can we start a hashtag saying, hashtag, get Justice Camera back. 